What's up guys, welcome back to Talk to Twans. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for weekly videos. And in this video, we're gonna be showing you guys the biggest size tires you guys can fit on a stock Tacoma with no lift, including the spare tire that goes underneath the bed. Today, we are gonna be working on this 2020 Tier D off-road. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be installing these guys right here. These tires are a BFG uh, KO2s. The size is right here. It is a 285-70-17. This is equivalent to about a 33 inch tire. And we're gonna try to attempt to install this on a stock off-road with stock suspension, front, rear, um, pretty much everything uh, underneath this truck is stock. And the tires that are on it, um, these are equivalent to about a 30 inch tire. Um, if you come on over here, the tire size on this is a 265-70-16. Um, so it's about a 30 inch tire, uh, maybe close to a 31, but it's in between there. So by just installing these 33s, we're going to get about a 2 a two to a 2.5 inch lift. Um, well, ground clearance is not really a lift, but um, so we're going to go ahead and install these and hopefully it fits without doing any trimming or anything. So the wheels that we chose for these tires are a Method NV. Um, these tires, or these wheels are really nice. As you can see, we chose the black. Um, the only thing that we don't like about these wheels are these center caps. So if you look at these, it's a really big, hefty center cap. And I don't know why they did it this way. And it's kind of like a bullet style but it's super bulky. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out the, the head here to this TRD style. And as you can see, it's a lot lower of a profile compared to the stock method one. So I'm gonna put these on the wheels and show you guys what it looks like. So with these, they actually install from the back. So putting that there is the method stock caps. And as you can see, it sticks out a lot. It almost sticks out just as much as the actual wheels. And personally, we don't like that. That's pretty ugly. So we're gonna swap that out. I'm gonna put the TRD one in. Look at that. That looks so much better. And it's almost as flush as this inner part and not the outer part of the wheel. So that looks so much better. And these center caps are actually made by a company that uh, you guys probably know, uh, Miso Customs. He makes a lot of cool stuff like the turn signals um, and a couple other cool things um, in our previous videos. So we're gonna get the stock wheels off um, and then we're gonna throw these caps on and the wheels on uh, the truck and hopefully everything fits. So we got the front wheels off and uh, this here is the stock um, Bilstein that Toyota puts on here. The TRD Off-Road comes with these yellow Bilsteins. Um, as you can see, it has the Toyota um, logo on it right there. And so this is the stock one. The, the rear is the same exact thing. It just doesn't have the spring. It's just the shocks to the rear and it's the same yellow. So anytime you guys get new wheels, you guys will need to get new lug nuts as well. And this is the set that we got. It's an M12 by 1.5, and it's an acorn style lug nut, so that way uh, um, it'll fit these wheels. So depending on which wheels you have, um, you will need to see which kind of lug nuts you will need to get. All right, now we're gonna show you guys how to remove the method cap, and then install the TRD cap. So with the method cap here, you can kind of see that the bolts are kind of different color that one compared to the plastic one so on the back here there's actually only three bolts that are actually holding this center cap together so what we're going to do we're going to get a crescent wrench you can use a regular wrench as well put it in there snug it up to that bolt that's in the back the reason why we use a crescent wrench instead of a uh, socket is because of this wall, we won't be able to get a socket in there. 
So once you have that held down on the other side, we're going to be using a five millimeter Allen wrench. We're just going to loosen that up just like that. The bolts out and the, uh, the nuts out as well. So we're just going to do that to the other two and then uh, show you guys how to put the new cap on. All right, once you have those three bolts out, go ahead and remove that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the new TRD one, line up the holes, and then we'll grab the hardware. We're gonna actually use all six holes with the new center cap. We're just gonna feed that through. And on the back, we just have a nut that we're gonna put on there. And we're gonna do that to all six of them. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna use a crescent wrench to hold the nut on the back. And on the front, we have a four millimeter Allen wrench um, on a screwdriver. And then we're gonna do that to all six of them. And it will look like that in the end. It'll look nice and lower of a profile in the front. All right, now that we have all six bolts on, we have the TRD center cap on, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the wheel first before putting the actual wheel on the truck. So like I said, this center cap is fed through the rear. So don't forget to uh, do this part first before you put it on. And then you wanna grab your new lug nuts and it's pretty nice that they're black as well so you can't really see them another thing with this center cap is that you can get these hardware and and anodized uh black but the thing with those is that once you put that uh, allen tool on it it'll scratch the middle and it'll show silver anyways but um but that's something that you can definitely get yourself And we're gonna go ahead and do that to all four um, since we have the truck up and uh, show you guys if it rubs or anything. All right guys, we got the 33s with the Method NVs on the truck now. And so far, without doing anything, no lift, no nothing, this truck actually looks pretty good with no lift. Um, and actually, if you guys look down here, down the fender line, it actually is pretty flush with the body line of the uh, the fender flares on the Tacoma here. These wheels are actually a zero offset wheels. Even uh, at zero offset, it's pretty flush with the fender flare. Coming to the side here, the front clearance between the tire and the bumper is pretty good. We have about two to three inches um, of uh, room from here to here. And on the rear, it is a little bit tighter. We got about two inches um, in the rear here. So what we might do uh, we might have to trim this little plastic piece that's right here, but um, if we do, we'll show you guys how to do that as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a turn test and we're going to see if it hits anything. And if it does, we'll go ahead and trim those pieces. All right, so I'm going to show you the uh, front view here for the front part of the tire. Rubbing going on in the front, put it back. I'll show you the rear here. So it is uh, rubbing just a little bit in the rear. Keep turning. All right guys, so since we're hitting at that one spot, we are gonna have to trim it. This piece here is from the passenger side. Um, this is all you will have to cut out in order to uh, not rub, I guess. So this here, you can see the cut that I did, the side and the bottom. 
we're going to show you guys how I did it on the driver's side here. So all you will need is just a regular box cutter and a new one would be great um, just because it's going to be a lot sharper. So this spot right here is where we are going to need to cut. In here there's a pretty good guideline. So with your razor blade, you're going to push it against the fender liner here. And then you see how this front part is sticking out. So there's about uh, maybe half an inch um, sticking out. So with your razor blade, put that against the fender liner and then I'm going to pull it towards me and it'll cut it along the, uh, the line here. All right, so once you get to this area, you're gonna want to curve up just a little bit. Okay, once you get to about here, you can either cut it from the top over or you can just continue to pull it. There we have it. So that's what it will look like once you've trimmed it. And the way that we did it, it keeps it nice and flat. So there you have it. This is the driver's side. And this is the passenger side. So it looks like we trimmed a little bit more on the driver's side, but that's okay. All right, so now we're gonna do the turn test and see if it still rubs in that same area. Now that we have trimmed the back side of the fender flare here, we won't be having issues here. But we are seeing another potential issue um, if we were to hit a bump while um, the wheels turned. So right here, we got about maybe an inch, less than an inch. Um, but this is an easy fix. This is the fender liner in here. And we're going to go to the passenger side and show you guys what we did to fix that. So this here is the passenger side. And what we've done right here is we have trimmed this piece from here. And then we actually push the fender liner forward. So now we have about two inches right here when the wheels turned. And we're going to show you guys what we did. So basically, that bolt right there was back here. But we have relocated it. Um, and push this forward and then put that screw in. So that way this piece can be secured forward. Um, that way it doesn't sit back here any longer.
All right guys, so we have test driven the truck. Everything is fine now, nothing's rubbing. Um, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the fifth tire, the 33 inch tire underneath the truck. That way, if we were to have a flat or anything like that, we're gonna have a, a full size that will match everything else because that's the last thing you wanna do is put a smaller size tire with your 33s. So what we're gonna do, we got this tool out of the truck. We're gonna stick in here. We're gonna lower the stock tires and then we're gonna mount the new one on. Um, this is a pretty big question as well because a lot of people don't know what's the biggest size tire you can fit underneath the truck. And uh, we're gonna see if we can fit that 33 inch tire without doing any major modification. So coming down here, we're gonna find this hole that's right underneath the tailgate. And if you look in there, there's a, a little circle piece um, that's going to match up with the end of uh, this tool here. So I'm going to stick it in there. Okay. And grab the uh, other piece of this tool. I'm going to stick it on the end. And if you guys have never done this before, this... Uh, Pretty helpful. So once we have that down, we can pull it out a little bit. Pull this piece out that is pretty much attaches to the center of the wheel to pull it up. So There's a spare. All right, so here is the 33 inch tire with the Method NVs. Um, we have the old spare off. And uh, I wanted to show you guys this piece here. So this piece is gonna go underneath um, the center of the wheel here. And if you look on here, there's this little hook. So that piece right there is gonna go inside one of these lug nuts from underneath. So that part is gonna secure it and make sure that it stays on there. So when you put it on, um, you wanna feel underneath and make sure that hook is in there. So we'll slide this under. We'll put this in here. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I do here. So just feed it under and right there, that hook right there is in one of the uh, lug holes and that's exactly one of what you want to do before you start turning this there you go and it should go up pretty level with the ground if it goes up crooked you know you probably did it wrong so As you're going up, just make sure it's not running into anything. You make sure that it's going up pretty straight. So we're almost at the top. Just keep wiggling it. And there we are. So if you come on over here, you'll see that where the tire is touching the uh, the hangers on the uh, leaf pack right here so this tire does fit and it's a tight fit so over here we're pretty much right on the exhaust right there there is a heat shield that is on the exhaust um, but not we're not exactly sure if that's going to cause an issue with uh, you know melting the rubber so what we might have to do is we might have to actually chop off the exhaust up there um, right above where the pipe comes down. So it does have this heat shield on here. So it might help, um, you know, not melt this rubber uh, on the tire. So, but if it does cause an issue, we might have to chop it right here where my finger is 
That way the exhaust goes straight down and we're far enough away from the tire that it's not gonna melt the uh, rubber on the tire. And plus, this doesn't have any kind of exhaust anyway, so it's not like we're gonna be cutting off like a TRD uh, exhaust tip or anything like that. So. so there it is guys. The 33 inch size tire is the biggest size tire you can fit on a stock Tacoma with no lift and with minor modifications to the front fender liner and the rear fender flare. If you guys don't wanna do any cutting or trimming, um, then you guys are gonna be safe with doing a 32 inch size tire. But that's it for this video guys and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.